Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another video. Today we are back out with the Pelican Bass Raider. Got it all set up, almost ready to go. And we're gonna go out and set some trot lines. Well, here we are. We are in the middle of Joe Pool Lake here. We're actually about to head into the um, creek over there. That's a mountain creek over there, and that's Joe Pool Lake over there. But I was going to tell you guys about what I have on here. So I went with the Swamp Runner kit, the uh, easy kit, I believe it's called, for two to seven horsepower engines. And so far, it's been pretty good. I don't really have any complaints about it. I had a four or a three horsepower motor on it to begin with and at full power that thing would only do four miles an hour and that was just not gonna cut it and it was struggling at that uh, this boat is a pelican bass raider 10e and it says it's only rated for a three and a half horsepower engine but this is a uh, predator 6.6 .6 to uh 224 engine and it seems to do okay it's a little heavy but it doesn't seem to weigh the back of the boat down too much or anything of course i'm sitting in the middle of the boat to kind of even it out and then i've got some equipment up here of course i got you know paddles just in case fishing pole i got a brick so i can set my line down there um hammer and then just miscellaneous tools and I got trot lines and stuff in there so I'm not too heavy this brick probably weighs about 25 pounds so that's probably the heaviest thing and there's a lot of birds circling up there and uh, it does pretty good I can't complain it goes about 10 11 miles an hour when you really open it up and I know some people have taken the governors out of this thing. I haven't done that just because I don't want to do that. And I'm, I'm fine with 11 miles an hour anyways. But let's go out and do have some fun on the lake, on the creek. And I'll show you exactly how fast this thing can go.
well i don't know if you guys can see it but there is a pipeline right here i already knew it was there but i was hoping that the creek would be high enough to where i could actually get around it but unfortunately it isn't so i think i'm gonna have to get off pull my boat across and then go to the other side so this should be fun all right well we got past our little pipeline there and now we got to the spot where i set out my trot line and as you can see we are setting it out and i'm gonna put the drop lines on and i got my brick there and we're getting it okay well we got our trot line all set up here and way down there hopefully we'll be able to catch some catfish and no turtles i'm using a different kind of bait last time i caught a bunch of turtles and well i don't want to catch turtles so hopefully this time it'll be a little bit better we'll check it again tomorrow see what happens but for now we're gonna go back to the bank Actually, you know what? We might do a little bit of uh, cast netting just for fun. Just to see what we catch and then uh, throw it back in. So, let's go to a spot where we can throw a cast net. all right well we made it back to the boat ramp and now we're gonna have to load up go home because i am tired and hopefully tomorrow when we check our trot lines there'll be something on it so when i transport this thing after i get it out of the water i clean out all the mud that's in there because there's quite a bit of mud in there 
but I actually remove the whole engine. I just take out this nut here and the whole thing lifts out. And then I just put it inside the boat after I clean it, after I'm taking it home. And I'll Hey everyone, welcome back here to the creek. We got our trot line here that we set up yesterday. And um, there's the end way down back over there I don't know if we got anything because I don't see it bobbing up and down or anything so I don't know hopefully we didn't catch any turtles hopefully that other bait worked better to leave the turtles alone I don't like catching turtles but let's see if we got anything doesn't really look like it but you never know Well, it looks like we caught us a small catfish here. Oh, where's the end of my line? Um, let's see. Oh, there it is. Caught us a small catfish. Obviously, it's not a keeper. But it looks like that's the only thing that we caught today. So let me go ahead and release this guy and get him back in the water. Well, I don't know if I would call that a full success, but it surely wasn't a failure. Although out of six hooks, we only did catch one small channel cat, but one is better than none. So, and all the bait was gone, it just didn't hook. So we'll have to see if we can figure out something else, maybe different hooks or something to try to catch them. But whew, it's warm out here right now. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff here. Got it all packed up nice and neat. And head back to the car and head home. So until next time, We'll see you later.